is coming attractions. <clears throat> I'm Adrian. Uh, I am Jacob. And I'm Kelly. Jacob. Duck. Kelly, roll it! <laughs> the first one we are looking at is Doctor Strange, coming out in November of 2016. This is the next coming up movie in the Marvel Universe. Yes, sir. And uh, Jacob, this the, the uh, star of Doctor Strange is... Better clap crumber from and what exactly and what is he and what, what would we know him from uh probably sherlock is the big bbc show mm -hmm. he was also the uh the dragon smog in the hobbit movies and he was Khan in uh the second like star trek movie yes, yes there you go we get our star yes. trek he's right there yes. dr strange is one of the ones that I was looking forward to when they started coming out with the more characters. You have been talking about this for a while. I, I think yes. it's like a left field one because he's not a super popular character, right? And but I was always hoping they would they would come out with Doctor Strange when 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 they started coming out with Fantastic Four and then Hulk came out and then Daredevil came out. I'm like, when are they going to come out with Doctor Strange? Because he is kind of his own superhero. He's not affiliated with any teams. And I thought the defenders. The, the yeah, the defenders sort of, but he was only there for a short while, from what I from what I yeah, gathered. I think he's an Avenger. But w he 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 teams up with the Avengers, but he's not. He's got he is kind of his own entity, right? So I was and, and and like Kelly said, I've been talking about Doctor Strange for a long time. I am very excited about seeing this this film. And from what we gathered from the in the trailer, it looks really 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 good. It does. It does. Uh... The special effects in it were top outs notch. outstanding. It's a Marvel movie. It's a Marvel movie, so they spent, they got they spent a half a billion dollars sure. on making the damn thing. Like right. They do all of them. Uh, Cumberbatch. Benedict Cumberbatch. He's going to be, I think he's, he, he, he's, he fits the role. Yes, he does. He and at yes. first, when I first talked to Jacob about this, I said, I don't know if I'm going to like this guy, but... As I've watched the trailer more and more, I, I'm seeing that he, he's going. I think he's going to be a great Doctor Strange. Mm -hmm. And like I said, the film looks really, really good from right. what just from, from what they the get. trailers. Yeah. Yes, and uh, and, and if you you just telling us a little bit, what is the background of the Doctor Strange? I'm not, I'm not huge into Doctor Strange, but I just know he's he's a surgeon. Uh, accident happens. He loses the ability to use his hands, and he's a surgeon, so it's pretty necessary stuff. Right. So he goes on like a, a soul search or something, comes across these monks, gets you know, Batman. Okay, just Batman yeah. gets uh, better powers than Batman, so he's I a better character already. What, what powers does Batman have? Money. Doctor Strange <laughs> actually has a spell for wealth. So he can get money. No way. Yeah. Yeah. So it makes him kind of a villain. That I'm, money had to come from somewhere. That's causing inflation. He's ruining the economy. <laughs> <laughs> this movie does come out in November 2016. And this one is the uh, the next one in the Marvel Universe. Yeah. So, which, like, do you think that they're going to be able to tie Doctor Strange in with any stories? Yes, oh, he, will, yes, he, will, be, yes, he I, will be in the Infinity Gauntlet. I'm actually really excited for this because I think it's... The first opportunity, aside from kind of Thor, that Marvel has to branch off of like a generic action movie, like we've kind of seen in the last few Marvel movies. For the solo movies. Yeah, yeah. And somewhat like uh, the Avengers. Right. Like they're kind of just basic action movies. Yeah, now. like Avengers 3 that just came out. <sighs> Cat America. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, Which I love that movie. Though. We cannot call it. Thor and Hulk were not in that, so you can't call it Avengers 3. They can. There's no they, Avenging either. We've talked about the, this. I, 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 I Kelly, Kelly, during our war room meetings, we have to, <laughs> our producers, our, 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 our directors. Our our backers? Yes. <laughs> Doctor Strange, our backers. Yes, we <laughs> have, his we money, have, money spell. <laughs> we have discussed this. We cannot no longer... Because you're going to confuse the audience when you keep calling it Avengers 3. They confused me by making it Avengers 3. It's... I, I, I can't even say no, anything know, right now. I know. So, but anyway, I feel like it's Well, at least you didn't time. say Doctor Hook. Right. Yeah, I got that right. Yes. I feel like it's the first time where Marvel can break away... From a generic action film formula and make something new and fresh. Right. 
Right. I I, I feel like it's probably. I hope it's going to be a breakout movie. Because the characters that we already know in the Marvel Universe that they keep using, you know, besides the Guardians, Guardians of the Galaxy, yeah. uh, we've seen them over yeah, and we over know. and over. So they really have no more story to tell for the character. So it is just Kind of like what we saw with like Iron Man 2 and 3. Right. Which a lot of people agree are the weakest movies in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Even though, I, uh, out of the three, I prefer I number see, three better than... I would say Fantastic Four, the remake there, was awful. Well, that's not Marvel. That's, uh, that's Fox. Yeah. yeah. Remember that whole rant you went on? We don't really need to rehab. Open that, do we? Fuck you, Marvel! Yeah. That's I, not Marvel. I know. But, Anymore. I know, but it was really... I, well, you I, can't blame Marvel for that, though. Well, you could. No, you can't, because well, they have no control of Well, no, you, you could. They they had control of, of what characters they could have done. Oh. If they could have gone to one distribution Give him a center. on the back. He looks sad. They could, <laughs> if they would have gone to one movie distribution center, they would have Okay. Had, Adrian, you would have had the Infinity... Adrian, let me say something. Adrian, the Infinity War Adrian, is going Adrian, to be a flop. Adrian, because you're not going to have Adrian. every goddamn character in the Infinity War. I read the Infinity Gauntlet. Every single cock-sucking superhero and supervillain was in that comic. So the Infinity War will be a complete <laughs> flop because you, you know, can't do it that way. So I when I suggested Doctor Strange, I didn't think it would become that. <laughs> oh, anytime we talk about Marvel, he goes off the fucking rails because he's so pissed off. Hey, I don't see DC Strange making is. this fucking mistake. <laughs> Batman vs Superman was goddamn terrible. They did make the mistake. It's, By doing it themselves. You know what? It's still the same movie. Warner Brothers. They got them all. Warner Brothers has every goddamn DC movie. Marvel doesn't. That's why you're not going to see the X-Men in the Infinity Gauntlet. Speaking of DC. But, the... wait. I do want to say one thing, though. Because uh, That's a no, great segue. Ahead. But I think it's a good thing, even though the movies that we have now have kind of been garbage, like the Fantastic Four. But I think it's a good thing. That Marvel got rid <laughs> of their bigger properties. The reason being, we would have never seen an Iron Man movie. He was a freaking B hero. He would have never gotten a movie. But he has become that jumping point because, for Marvel. Because Marvel didn't have Spider-Man, their most popular character. Or Fantastic Four, their most popular family. Or the right, X Men, right, right. which so is they had huge. to find somebody. They had to go somebody else. So they're like, "All right, we'll test the waters with this B alcoholic superhero that became a box office hit and set off the course that we have now." If they had Fantastic Four, we wouldn't have seen the movies that we have. Right, which begs the question: What would have the movies have been if it had leapt off from there? I, they, we would have gotten a Spider Man movie. Obviously, All right. that's the. That's it didn't business. matter what distribution center. Robert Downey Jr. would have nailed it, regardless of whatever distribution movie they had. I'm he would have nailed it. We wouldn't have gotten an Iron Man movie. Fuck so, you, Marvel. So okay, I'm now saying, let's go. Now let's go. Do Marvel? Let's go. Let's go. I'm sorry, I got off base here. I think. I think now uh, that yeah. Marvel has gotten the success, they should give the characters back. Oh, like they yeah. did with there, Spider-Man. All right, there you go. I was going to fire you after this because you said, you know, this is good. But no, you're rehired. It's a good thing that that, that happened the way, but the... Fox, okay, yeah, okay, you're Sony right. Just okay, you're right. right. Okay, I, I will agree with that. Anyway, as, uh, as uh, Kelly was saying... Uh, well, since we're talking about... Superheroes. D superheroes and DC, the next one that's coming out 2017? Yeah. I think. Yes. Wonder Woman! Wonder she Woman. is the third installment of the Justice League. We've seen Superman, we've seen Batman. Mm -hmm. And now coming out with Wonder Woman. She was she made the the, the uh, cameo role in Ben and Superman. Right. And um uh, you one, know, of the, one of the good parts of that. Now I don't now I don't really I'm not I am not a DC reader. J, uh, Kelly's more of a DC reader than I am. Yeah, just Batman. Right. And now I was uh, you know, they, they look like this was uh, World War One or two. What, what, I'm, yeah. I'm guessing it's probably two, since there would be right around the time. And so this one, and and, and I, I know she's an Amazon, mm -hmm. and um, so I didn't really know that she was she in the comic. I don't know if she did or if she didn't. It was that she mingled with Earth. 
Well, uh, she's just in like a, a tropical remote island on Earth. Yeah, they're just basically um, the Amazons live on this. Amazonia. Amazonia. Right, right, right. And I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I, 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 let me rephrase that. I didn't think that she was really involved in, in World any, War II in, 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 in any of those. Like, I know we knew Captain America was. Yeah. She's an older character. Mm-hmm. So I think they're doing the same thing, DC following vein of Marvel with Captain I, America. Honestly, yeah, I could see her being in World War II because all the big heroes, well, I don't know if they were really big back in the day. They were, uh, but uh, well, the heroes were set up like as sort of propaganda. Mm-hmm. Sure, guess. right, right, yep, yep. So I could see Wonder Woman, right, right. And I, and I, I don't know how old she is. I, if she, if I hope, I, and, then, and I hope they, 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 and from what we gathered and from what we saw from the trailers, it does look very good, though. Oh, it does. I it like it. Does it? Looks I like the way it looks. Very well shot. Mm-hmm. The 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 cinematography, cinematography, the camera work is <laughs> really good. <laughs> and, and we Kelly, and Kelly, we've we've discussed this in, in previous uh, uh, episodes that DC is really trying to keep up to pace with Marvel. They really are, and it it looks like they're might uh, pull it off. As I, far as they probably won't catch up because they haven't gotten their foot in the door. I'd say twice. here's the thing: DC is showing up to a fight that they lost six years ago. Hey, right. There you go. Right. There you go. Right. Yes. So they're they're, finally, they're, they're now getting involved. Yeah. In now they're just going down swinging. They, yeah. They're they're but they're putting but, their movies out. But but we get good movies out of it. Yeah. Absolutely. So we're. St- it's absolutely. We I get, mean, we we've got well, we well, three and a half well, star okay, we got, movies. We've well, got okay, two well, good movies and one. Yeah, you know, because here's the thing. Unfortunately, you can, you cannot put. I mean, you could, but you can't. You know, with the with the Batman trilogy that the that the the, the Nolan. That's his own thing, right? Exactly. But when you have you know the Watchmen who are failed failed horribly, I have I yet like to get Watchmen. all the. I did too. That. I did too. But it was it was and crucified in, by the by the critics. Batman and Superman was also just completely burnt by the critics. Now Suicide Squad is being burnt by the critics. But yeah. you have but these Marvel movies that come out, they give them high praise. Now, so the audience is almost turning on DC, going, you know, these are just not good enough. I Even guess though they look amazing yes. in these trailers. I guess I'm sort of like arguing against myself then because I said I'm excited for Doctor Strange because they're doing something different. But whenever DC tries to do something different, it just gets shit on. Right. right. And it is because they've already lost the battle. They've come out with less than stellar movies. Yep. And the critics are so fucking... They're not biased anymore against any of this. They're just flat out... Anything DC lays out there, we're gonna shit all over. Right, and I and I so I think though that DC is trying to pick its you know pick themselves back up, dust themselves off, and they're now coming up with these iconic characters. Mm-hmm. You know the watch, and they were going with really graphic novels because the Watchmen was it was a graphic comic book. It mm-hmm. was a mini series, and, and they and they did that, and now they're coming out with Justice League, which is probably their most popular group ever assembled. Right. Uh, so so now you know they got Batman and Superman now. You know they had Man of Steel. Right. And now they had Batman vs. Superman. I thought Batman would have got his own film. He's going to get one. Okay. Now Wonder Woman. And then, as we discussed, Green Lantern is getting re- redone. Is he? he oh, he's getting God. redone. I didn't hear that. Oh, you know, because oh, he is oh, going oh. to, because they are going to put him in the Justice League. Cyborg is getting his own yeah, film. Flash is getting one. Flash is getting one. And Aquaman, Aquaman is which getting his I, own. Oh, my God. I don't like. Oh, my God. I think I saw Aquaman. stills, yes. stills yes. for that. He... Jason Momoa, yeah, I think he's cool. I think he could be a good Aquaman. I still just don't like the way it looks, though. No, right? No, that that, that it's just bizarre. Like the, the the scene that he had in Batman vs Superman, where he's like staring at the camera, yeah, making right? love yeah. for for a good thirty right. seconds. Right. It just felt yeah. awkward and weird, and I didn't like. I just I don't want to be under the sea for two and a half hours. No, I think they can. I I, I like Aquaman. Nemo. One of the few. Comics that I've read from DC was Aquaman, uh, the new Fifty Two stuff, and I enjoyed it very much. So I I think if they do it right, they can make a good Aquaman film. I just don't like the way it looks so right. far. Right. So, but the, but we're gonna you know and and let's you know just see how well you know they they can do with the Wonder Woman. Yep. And if if they can do if they can get you know a, a really good film on a Wonder Woman, 
then The Flash and The Green Lantern and The Aquaman, I think those movies can really set up for the Justice League and they could get back into this fight. Because, now, unfortunately for DC, Marvel is coming out with the Infinity, Go the Infinity War. Right. They're coming out with another Avengers. That's uh, it, yeah. And so... You know they've still got a lot of firepower left that DC's got to handle. If you look at their their uh, like next three or four year plan, they've got Guardians two, um, Doctor Strange coming up. They've got I can't remember all the movies. They got the two. They have two Avengers movies announced. Mm -hmm. There's Infinity War Part One and Part Two. Yeah. They have. Oh, isn't more. there another X Men movie coming out? That's not Marvel Cinematic Universe though. Oh, yeah. All oh, right, right. Uh, and then they had an Inhumans movie that kind of got shot down. Oh, uh, uh, Iron Fist and, and uh, the... the those, that's, those are Netflix shows. Oh, they're Netflix. Which, okay. I, if, uh, if you haven't seen Daredevil uh, Seasons 1 and 2 and Jessica Jones, they're really good. I tried. You couldn't get through it? I couldn't get through it. I'll give you Jessica Jones isn't the best, but Daredevil was great. Season 2... Blew it out of the yeah. water with Punisher. Uh, oh fuck, that's right. Yeah, he's, he's getting his own show. Fucking right. Yeah, he was really. See, that's good. another character I dig. Yeah, like, he I, was. Uh, I love the Punisher. I had a friend who didn't like the first season of Daredevil. Mm -hmm. Watch it just to get to the Punisher. Yeah, and he he was he loved it. Cool. Uh, so yeah, Iron Fist, Luke Cage, getting shows on Netflix. Uh, Luke. Cage. Yeah. I think you're from Street Fighter. Man with Unbreakable Skin. No, no, he's Marvel. Mm -hmm. He's Marvel. Uh, now, Mahavel, baby. did we, now we did, now is, Mahavel. now did, Mahavel. do we have a date on Wonder Woman when that's coming nope. out? Uh, just a year. 2017. You just said 2017? All right, uh, just, did we have a date on Doctor Strange Love? It was no. <laughs> Doctor <laughs> Strange, Strange November. Love. Sorry. November of this year. Okay. Well, at least you didn't say Doctor Hook. Right. Uh, also, coming up on Coming Attractions, we are going to take a look at the movie Don't Breathe, which is the new horror film that's coming out. It uh, looks really good. I, uh, I, did you want to talk about that new Christopher Nolan flick coming Dunkirk, out? Dunkirk. Dunkirk. Which I... Uh, excuse my ignorance Sorry. here. Uh, I didn't know it was a battle in France until I saw that little teaser thing, like the World War II. I thought right. it was a World War II movie right away. You thought it was a monster movie. Well, it didn't. I didn't really get to hear because people Funny were talking through the, through the trailer. All I saw was people looking up and they go down... That was a plane. It didn't, it, but it, it didn't sound. But when there are so many people talking in the theaters, yeah. I didn't. I just saw them. They, they went down. So I thought, and okay, it's a Christopher. It's a Christopher Nolan movie. He may be going branching out and going to a, a creature film oh, because I also right. because I also know that they are doing a sequel to Godzilla. I'm excited. Which Jesus so I thought. God. So I thought maybe okay maybe they're putting that. So maybe that would have been the guy. So I, I'm not real familiar with the Godzilla trailers. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, is this they're doing Godzilla, the sequel to it? So I didn't know. And, and like I said, the, there are so many people talking during that preview. I didn't hear the plane. Oh, so when okay. I, when so I it's just, kind of like a what the fuck? Yeah, because it was just a minute long. They, yeah, they, and, they, and they don't talk about war. It goes, you know, survival is victory. Oh yeah, yeah. So I'm like, oh, time you know, and, 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 and time of annihilation. I'm like, okay, so this creature going to annihilate right. Earth? Right. At the very beginning of it, I thought the same thing based on the trailer. I that, yeah, see oh, how Jesus you... Christ, and then there's bodies in the sand, you know. Yes. But as soon as they were in that, uh, the boat. The boats, the, 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 the it looks like boat. the beaches of Normandy. Yeah, I did. It looked like that. You know. You know, but then you. Looked it up and it's, it, it, it was a battle. It yeah. looks and, and and you know I we had so the, I we, mean we, it was very epic probably. Yeah, we'll movie. have to really well they'll have to uh, you know, that was that was the teaser trailer. We're gonna have to get into more trailers to see right right actually right. kind yeah. of the storyline. But I, I, I felt yeah it, it looked good and it felt like we should talk about that real quick. I'm okay. excited for it. Uh, uh, Christopher Nolan is hit and miss for me. Like I I loved Interstellar. I see now that was a good one, but it was it was so. Long, chaotic, and long. I, it, but I, it was it was well, very well acted. I thought mm -hmm. it was very well directed. Uh, and I I've always been like a fan of black holes and stuff. So I, right, I was right. I was so intrigued you're, you're by the really science stuff. That. Oh yeah, 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 totally. I mean the, the amount of time based, you know, the it was to the really planet. Cool. Yeah, uh, I did I did I did like Interstellar. The science behind it, was I, but really, I didn't like really Inception fun. all that much. No, that I, fucking lost me. I personally think that the Batman films. This is going to be very unpopular opinion here. I personally think that the Batman films are overrated. 
I liked them. I thought I'll they agree. were good. I like them, and I agree with you. Yes, they are. They, they're good they're movies, evil. but they're not the best superhero movie that's ever like come most out. people say. Do you think? Even though Batman. Do you is think the best there's there, a lot of the a lot of the people who got the first glimpse of Doctor Strange? They said that it Inception. looks like Inception. Do you guys agree with that? I, I can see where they're getting that from, like, the building folding over, but... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I okay. mean, okay, it's cool. It's cool to get, like, ideas off of that. I'm fine with that. It looks a little Inception-y, yeah. Well, nowadays, I mean, everything's recycled, reused, as, as far as movies go. Anymore. Oh, gosh, yeah. yes. It's it, very hard to come up with an oh, original right. idea. And it, it really is. I mean, so... But we still get good movies out of it. Yeah. We've had a good summer this year. We, you know, yeah, and Kelly and I have, have, have coined this summer the summer of blockbusters. We have right. talked about so many blockbusters that are out there. Uh, I just real quick saw Ghostbusters and dug it. You liked it. I, I, I have it. not looked forward to it. I wasn't even that big of a fan of Ghostbusters, but it just... Growing up. Like, I, I saw it uh, a couple of years ago, and I loved the movie. Oh, okay. Oh, but I'm, yeah. I, I'm just saying, like, I wasn't... Yeah, you didn't grow up. Exactly. In, in it wasn't part world, of my like, childhood, so I don't have that nostalgic, I need to defend the, the, this movie, the original, right. as much as I can, but I still just wasn't excited for it. It doesn't look good. The, the effects look bad. It, it's a good movie. It, 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 as far as being just another, not... In the same universe, Ghostbusters movie, just a Ghostbuster movie. Mm -hmm. It was great. I thought they did it right. They, so, so they, Kelly, so Kelly, I, what you're I, saying I, I is so, 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 Kelly, what you're saying is just forget about the other two and watch this movie and watch this one. Yeah, as standalone. Yes, movies. they should have called Ghostbusters. Well, they I know. I, I, I argued the same point. Like the, the, but once I sat down, I watched it. I'm like, I dig it. It's not a bad flick. Well, you also there, don't. There, you, there's some really good jokes in it. Kid, uh, spoiler alert! I want to know. And Thor, Thor is a perfect. Yes, idiot. I think he did. Yeah, I did. Perfect I did. Idiot. I did dig that. He, the the points, the parts I saw, I did. He, he was. He was. It was pretty comical. I will be alone in my hatred. No, no, no I'm, I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not digging it. I'm just saying. Okay. You know, I'm just kind of. I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of being the the, the 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 moderator here. Right, with right, you right, too. right, right. I, I do want to know this. Spoiler alert. I want to know this. Yes, he did uh, draw a ghost with boobies. Who? All my questions have been answered. <laughs> I don't need to see the film. Uh, go on. Uh, does Aykroyd, Murray, or Ernie Hudson make cameos? All three of them do. Well, what are the parts? And there is a statue of Egon. I can't remember. Bad, no, all right. No, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. So I can respect that. Played, played tribute to him. Um... Mary played a uh, uh, a debunker of the paranormal. Okay. He acted like he did not want to be in this movie at all. Ernie, Ernie Hudson did. No, uh, Murray. Oh, Murray. Because he, he never wanted to do no, the third No, no, no. He, he went into this and he you actually, could tell. He actually... He actually... He wasn't one. funny. He didn't try to be funny. He's just... Give me the fuck on. Yeah, on. he actually did not want to. He actually did. He actually he wanted to do a third one and get killed off. And get killed off. From from what I understood, like I, I don't know how true this is, but he didn't like the first one. Like he he did it, and then he wanted to do his own movie that mm -hmm. bombed. Right. And he was so mad that he like just quit acting for a year. Right. Or two. Well, the well the thing is, Bill Murray was not even cast for that. It was supposed to be John Belushi before right. he passed. Right. He was supposed to play Peter Bakeman. Okay. Because Bill Murray and Dan Aykroyd do not get along. Now, going into this movie, do not try to um, team up who is who. Because this is not right. a, a Ghostbusters movie. Right. A Ghostbusters movie. So I, I spent the first 10 minutes going, okay, so she's going to be Egon. She's obviously Bill mm -hmm. Murray, you know. Uh and then it's like, just stop it. Just just watch the fucking yeah, movie. It's I, its own thing. I've decided that I won't give it my time. That's, I don't think I would like it. Oh, uh, Ackroyd played a taxi driver, and... Ernie Hudson? Hudson played a, uh, he owned a funeral home, and he's the one that lent them 
a hearse to turn into Ecto One. Okay, okay. <laughs> I, I, I do like they, they made a statue of Harold Ramis, though. That's yeah, and I, he I, was in there, and it's just a quick shot, but that, it's, that, it's, that, that, it's pays, nice that that That, that pays homage. I, 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 I'm right. cool with that. Because I love Harold Ramis. He right. was so good. He and was, we hated on this movie, you know, when we, we did, did the we trailer did. review. Yeah, we did. But I watched it, and because I dug it. And, and, and Jacob, you're going to realize this. This is a movie, of, oh, I'm sorry, Coming Attractions uh, trademark Rape of our childhood. Right, right, right. As right. we talk about these movies and that, they, that they redo. Out, I'm fine with being ass fucked during a movie uh, like this. Yeah, but then yeah, Ghostbusters, the one was kind of a. I know, I know. That one's kind of hard. I can't wait till they remake uh, Back to the Future. They, no, they, that will not happen. They shouldn't. They shouldn't. Don't do that. That's no, horrible. They shouldn't do it. What show are we doing right now? Coming, uh, coming Attractions. Did we say that right at the yeah. beginning? Did yeah. We? This is Coming Attractions. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we did, because of the <laughs> intro. Oh, okay. I was just checking, because I would have fucked it up. <laughs> 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 I forgot what show. <laughs> all right. Um, so, that covers all those movies that are coming out. Uh, yeah. We are doing... We will do Don't Breathe next. Now, that's, that's, that, horror. that's the horror film. Okay. And uh, it looks really good. It, it, they say that this one is a very clever horror film. It's about a bunch. It's a, it's, a, it's a group of kids that are they start messing with a blind guy. It looks like if Dare. And I'd like to pay, uh, uh, not pay, uh, to just just mention on the next one about that new Blair Witch movie that's coming out. We will talk about that one as well. All right, right the for, Star Wars uh, trailer actually. What's that? Have you guys on the Star Wars like Rogue One trailer? We will, we will, uh, uh, Kelly, Kelly, don't be hating. I'm okay. Do you, are you, be hating. I'm not a big Star Wars fan. When don't, I walked don't, in don't, here, you were in a Star Wars shirt. I own a, star, a couple of them. Wow. I'm not a huge Star Wars fan. That's you know why I have Star Wars shirts? Because you can't find cool Star Trek shirts. <laughs> He's a Trekkie. <laughs> oh, oh, you can love both. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, all right, for coming attractions, I'm Kelly. Uh, I'm Jacob. Yeah, I'm Adrian. We out. Yes, I'm okay. Are you sure? Yes. You I didn't pop I, a, a blood vessel or anything no, in your Marvel no, rant? No, no, Because <laughs> you got... You got heated. <laughs>